What we have here is a complete visual recognition system that uh, it runs on an iPhone. It's built on a representation of object based on video. So at the lowest level, there's a detection feature tracking mechanism that's called tracking on the selection tree that automatically selects and tracks features. You see the green trails at their scale. So you see the blue, um, the blue circles. And we use this to learn representation of objects for later recognition. So let's say I want to recognize this hat. So I tap and the icon shows me that I'm learning this object. Now I've learned it. So as I move around, when I run into that object, the icon shows up showing that I've recognized it, even though <clears throat> I can move around uh, quite a bit and change vantage point and change scale. And I can do that, of course, for multiple objects. So let's say that I do it for the billboard. Now I'm learning the billboard. You see the icon and I move around. So now I recognize the billboard and the hat and the billboard and the hat. And I can keep doing this. So let's say that I want to recognize this phone. So that phone is learned and now I have the phone, the billboard and the hat. Now let's say that I want to really not recognize individual objects, but categories. So let's say that I want to learn a model of this bookcase, but I really want to call it a billboard. So what I do is I drag the icon onto the icon of the billboard and now both the bookcase and the billboard are recognized as the same thing. So you can see the same icon coming up, but of course not for the hat. The hat remains a hat, and of course the phone remains a phone, and the hat remains a hat. And I can keep doing this exercise, for instance, uh, this, it's not restricted to man-made objects, so let's say I want to learn a model of, of this bush, and so I have that, and then I have my bookcase or billboard, and then I have my hat. And uh, even though it doesn't seem like I'm moving much from the video, as you can hear probably from the steps, I'm actually moving around quite a bit, and so I'm recognizing that object from significant uh, changes of viewpoint. The fact that you see flickering is because even though the representation of object is based on video, recognition is performed instantaneously on a frame-by-frame -frame basis, so there is some flickering indeed. This is based on a representation called the Best Template Descriptors, which has been developed by Tehili and Stefano Soat. Thank you.